tonight on Friday the 21st of May or the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder at 10 o'clock UK time 2 o'clock Pacific 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time I'm joined by Terra formerly known as Terra Unity creators of Terra World Pro which is currently part of the Unity Mega Bundle huge bundle massive bundle you can be getting this basically for free on Unity right now if you pop over and click on and buy that mega bundle so they're going to be coming on the stream tonight that's right all the w's or twitch or tv slash the messy coder come in say hello and see what madness we're going to be getting up to in this video i'm playing about with the mantis lod editor the professional edition for mesh online which is also part of this amazing unity mega bundle now at first i was a bit skeptical about this mega bundle but the more i play with these little gems i realize just how wonderful they all are oh my word sit back enjoy this lod tastic video and i'll see you all in a second this is the mantis lod i'm playing with bananas <laughs> i've got no idea this is this is obviously showing us the triangle count okay i FPS on here is incredibly misleading. You cannot count FPS on two bananas. You can't. Okay? You just can't. <laughs> it's just show us the triangle count. Show us the LODs fly. I'm not looking at your FPS of two bananas. You cheeky banana. Oh my word. Oh my word. So this is the demo scene. This is the demo scene you get in the Mantis LOD. If you're wondering why I'm looking at bananas, it, it's bananas. Um, <laughs> I've already got many LOD things. We played about with many LOD things on the stream and also on, on the old YouTube channel. And let me try and find one. Oh yeah, look, look. We did the automatic LOD from Ultimate Game Source, which is, was really easy to use. So I mean, this is going to be uh, a test to see is it as easy to use uh, as this one. And after playing with his lovely banana, I've copied in his canvas from his banana and into my project as well. And over here, I'm going to grab my tugboat and I'm going to go to Windows Mantis LOD Editor. Go over here, Editor and LOD Professional. And you'll see down here, we've got all these wonderful things. At the top, we want to save our progressive mesh. That's the, that's the important thing that we want to be doing. So I'm going to do that by the magic of television. There it is in here. Now, all of this funky stuff, is very, you know, it's very nice to see. You've got maximum LOD count and it's got these details here you can check. Uh, protect hard edges which aren't really going to work for Cinti stuff because everything's pretty much a hard edge but down here use detail map very important because he's got a, a on his github a free vertex painter so i could paint in elements of here that i do not want to lose detail in the lot and then i'll tick this and then i'll uh, basically it says when checked it uses the red channel or the vertex colors as a detail map and then it's got the detail boost here so I'm not using that, but that's a great little feature. And here you can see that our little tugboat's currently 43,000 triangles. And if we go all the way down here, you can see it melting away. And it gets down to 5,500, like the lowest it can get, and then it's just silly. So this is where that vertex paint would actually come in handy. So you would say, you know what, the bottom of our tugboat should remain. So when I get down here to this, at least I've got the bottom of the tugboat. But to be honest, once you get down to here, you want to be flipping this out, culling it or replacing it with an imposter or something else. So now I've got my uh, mesh saved. I'm going to remove this and go back over here to Windows, LOD, one time and progressive mesh one time. I saw my tugboat selected, as you can see. Now I'll drag in our little progressive mesh. Now I'm going to do the same for my little Ooty and this uh, bike. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this car because, um, you know, so once we've got our Ooty and we've got our bikey, then that's all I really care about, to be honest. So I'm going to do the same for these two little badges. You just pause it. Now, all three of them have got monkey things in. And if I go over to my little bikey wikey and go in, you know what? We need to be raising that bike up. It's higher up. There you go. Are we at the same level? I think, yeah, we look like we're around the same level, don't we? Let's put our bikey over here. And you can see down here, it's got coal. Uh, never coal. No, we're going to turn that off so our bikes will disappear. Otherwise, the bikes will never disappear. I can do by distance or by size and change the, the distance over here, and the coal ratio. And over here, it will tell me how many D 
different LOD groups we're going to have. And you're going to do seven. It's got all the different components of this bike as well. Look, all these different sub meshes on my bike. But to be honest, once you're going out distance, you really should just hide all of these like that in the LOD. Just give it, or not all of them, <laughs> not all of them but uh, the bulk of them you want to be getting rid of. Maybe, you know, the bills and whistles, you know, the, the lights, the little fancy bits on the end. Uh, keep your keep your body in, I suppose. On the on the boat, so you can very easily afford to get rid of all of those, and you don't really notice any difference at all, do you? On the boat, but yeah, the bike's a little bit more delicate. But let's go over here to our bike, and we'll see that the main parts here we've got uh, 1800 triangles there, and I can even change. It goes down to 300 centimeters. If I say it just goes down to two lot groups, see that like, the invested that it will go. It's down to 370. There's hardly anything left. And if I go back to my little tugboat, let's look at the tugboat first. And, and actually, what we could do is uh, I just want to make my camera angle look a little bit nicer, a little bit more attractive. There you go. And if I look at my tugboat, you'll see I've got FBS hint, LOD hint, and triangle hint. And I can just drag those in here, like so. And away we go. Now, when I click play, I've got my extended fly cam on, so we don't have the banana bouncy in and outy cam. I've got just myself, I'm controlling it. So here's my tugboat. And as we come out, look on the left side of your screen as you see it slowly changing as it hits into the different lots. We go from 43,000 tries to 38, 32, 26. There, you see a bit of a distance on the 20, difference on the 26, 21. Now that's, that's the main difference here, the 15. We've got the 10 down to 10. That's a good lot. But look, in a, over on this view, you don't see any difference whatsoever, really. And as we go there, that's just crazy. So now, we go over to our little car next. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that look over here in this, in this view. It, you can't see any difference. It's done. Fantastically. All I did was just throw it upon until then. <laughs> until then. That's where you cut it out. Cut it, cut it out here. Go or switch it with an imposter. Luckily we get an imposter pack with this mega bundle as well, so I can play with that next. Okay, let's have a look quick look at the car. Now for the car, I'm gonna grab um you know, can I just grab this tugboat settings here, copy, and then remove them. Otherwise, we'll get a bit of weirdness going on. When I go down here, I'm just going to paste these in and then drag in my ET back into the mesh. I wonder what would happen if we put the wrong mesh on. Will it explode? We just don't know. We just don't know. Let's have a look at the car now. So actually, you know what? I'm going to go in a little bit closer here so we can get a good view of this car. There we go. And in this view, I'm just going to turn ourselves around. Here we are. He's on 11,000. Now he kicks in 10,000. That's a long distance to be going for our first lot. Two, eight, 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 nine, three, uh, here, to 5,000. So look, they're, they're not low poly, no matter what you're saying. They're polygon, polygonal, but they're not low poly. And here, seven, and now, if I turn off never call, Bomb has disappeared. So now we come back in. He's magically reappeared. So there you go. Dun, dun, dun. Brilliant. Now our little bikey friend. Same kind of badging that we're going to do. Going to go over here, paste this in. Still got those saved, and I'm going to drop in my bikey bikey over here now let's have a look let's have a look at you how deformed you're gonna get my little red friend because you're gonna go horrendous aren't you yes you are you're gonna get that seven thousand he starts at he starts at seven thousand do i hear any takers at five thousand well do you know what i got a feeling we forgot to turn off on the oot Yes, we did. I thought I did turn you off. Well, evidently I didn't, did I? 
And we had them both talking at the same time. So 7,000 over a take of 7,000 to start out for our little bike. And now, the first lot group is 62,000. Any difference? Any difference between the two? Nothing really noticeable. To be able to shave off about 10,000. Down to five, not really noticing a difference either. Down to four, three and a half, we started to see that, you know, a, a difference. Two, realistically, he's getting down 2,600. This is where we're getting crazy. And then, wow, at seven, so here you, you'd, you'd really be culling it. I mean, to be honest, about here, I would cull about here. Why have you bike in? You, who's going to see that? Unless you've got the best vision ever. No one's going to see him there. It's crazy. And this is the easiest lodding system I've played about with. It, it, you've got the, the ability to, to, to use the slider and save it out as a mesh as you want, as we saw. So if I go back to the uh, the other LOD component editor, the professional tool here, I can change the values, save it out as a mesh, jobs are good and if I wanted, or just leave it with the procedure. I, I, this procedural thing was it works a charm, it really does. I'm not going to make it take any notice of its FPS messaging in there, but why would? What a charm. But not just that, we also get a standard, if you're not even using Unity, you can use a standalone editor as well. So here is the standalone editor. I'm going to put in our tugboat we played about with a second ago. Here it is. Tiny tugboat. It's upside down. And you can click on the individual parts and change the slider. Or you can do the whole thing. Now if you're wondering earlier when I was saying about uh, protect hard edges, I'll show you what I meant. Protect hard edges go down nothing really changes because the whole thing the hard edges so there you go that's it. you can use a use a detailed map from in here as well if you vertex painted it wow it is brilliant i have to say i am so impressed with this crazy impressed with this even got a little render in here as well i changed change the view brilliant brilliant little toy and we get it for free pretty much in that bundle Yet another lodding tool to my collection. And it was so easy and painless to use. And I could also use it as a command line as well. Not just with this editor. I could use it rather a command line to start generating uh, meshes. Well, there you go. It's amazing. It really is. I, I'm so shocked. Fair play to you, Mesh Online. Fair play. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, normally, 50 bucks. We get it as part of this bundle. And I have to say, even with your bouncy banana, you had me sold. Uh, your cheeky FPS numbers mean nothing to me, but your lodding and your triangle count blew me away. So with your bouncing bananas and your bouncing bunnies, if you want to get this Mantis LOD editor, then just get the Mega Bundle that's currently on Unity. And don't forget tonight, I'm going to be interviewing those fellows over from Terra, formerly known as Terra Unity, the creators of Terra World, which is also part of this Mega Bundle over at Unity. All the W's or Twitch or TV slash the messy coder. So I'll see you all tonight. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.